Hello and welcome back to Hawthorne Homemaker. Today I am just showing you how I make some homemade dog treats. This is just how we make them for our dog. If you don't want to do that or if you don't like my recipe, you absolutely do not have to use it or you can modify it however you like. Okay, so to start with, because this is just going to be dog treats, I usually just pick up a pack of chicken that is on sale at the grocery store. This happened to be Food Lion. I think all in all it was a 2.4 pound pack of chicken, I believe. It was just four large chicken breasts. I cut those down into strips. Um, if you've never made any type of jerky before, they do need to be kind of thin strips just so that it doesn't take a gazillion hours to dry out. Um, but I just go through and I thinly slice all of the chicken breast. I do try to slice it at an angle. If I had to guess, we'll just estimate a 35 to 45 degree angle. Um, I just slice it and that's just what I do. I don't know if there's any science to why I do that or anything. Um, that's just how I've always done it. Um, you do not have to trim off the fat, but I will say that the fat sometimes will um, drip a little bit in the dehydrator. So I do try and trim off a little bit of the fat. And my dog definitely knows these are for his treats because this is a uh, routine that I do. Usually this uh, batch of chicken jerky for him will last about two, two and a half weeks. Um, I recorded this probably two weeks ago and he still has some of this chicken jerky left. So it is definitely a t um, money saving opportunity for us. I think the package of chicken cost about four dollars and then the sauces that I use I think were a dollar a piece maybe two dollars a piece but I don't use the entire bottle for those so it is well worth it for me because the treats that I was buying him were $14.99 a pack and they would only last about a week so I was getting tired of paying that and I figured I could just make it at home. You can definitely tell that he loves them how many times his head pops up in this video. He knows they're all for him. So once I had all of the chicken breast cut up, I just put it into a glass bowl and then poured on my seasonings. This is just some teriyaki sauce, two different kinds. Uh, one was a regular teriyaki and the other was a teriyaki with honey. <laughs> Um, if I don't get a teriyaki with honey, then I will put a little bit of brown sugar just to give it a little bit of sweetness. Um, but I use about one-fourth of each of these bottles. Um, and then I'll just go in and mix this with a fork. I could have probably put the lid on it and shaken it, but that's just what I did. No rhyme or reason. Once I get it all mixed up, put the lid on it and seal it tight, then it sits in the refrigerator. Um, you can do it as little as two hours to marinate or up to 24 hours to marinate. I think I let this batch marinate for about eight hours in the fridge. And then I take it out, shake off any excess juice, and then lay it on my dehydrator sheets. I did get some silicone mats for these dehydrator sheets and I really love them. They made cleanup a little bit easier um, and they were super simple just to soak in the sink with some um, dish soap and they came clean very easily. I highly recommend them. But I just put them out in a thin layer on all of my dehydrator uh, sheets, I think. I wound up using four or five of my racks um, when I was doing all of this. So it does take a little bit of time. I think all in all, it took me about 30 minutes to cut up the chicken and get it in the refrigerator. And then it probably took me another 20 minutes to get all of the pieces laid out and spread out on the dehydrator racks. Once I actually put it into the dehydrator, I put it on a 
temperature of about 140 and I usually just let it cook overnight while I'm sleeping. So I think I put these in the dehydrator about 9 p.m. And then I took them out about 6 o'clock in the morning the next morning. So you can see here they come out and they are looking nice and dehydrated. I did get some of these Mylar bags off of Amazon just to make it for easier storage. Um, oh, and I actually, it was 7.55. So it was about 8 o'clock when I took these out. So they were in the dehydrator about 12 hours here. Um, but I just put them in here and I do put in some moisture absorbers um, that I got from, I don't remember where I got them from, but I do put in some moisture absor absorbers in here. Otherwise the jerky, um, if there's too much moisture in there, it can mold quicker and it's just cumbersome um, and I do that just in case some of the thicker pieces didn't get all of the moisture out um, typically with dehydrated products there shouldn't really be any moisture but any of the marinade um, and if any of the thicker products didn't get all of the moisture out then sometimes you can get condensation and moisture build up in your bags so I just like to put them in there for extra precaution um, but it is a super simple and easy way to make dog treats at home. It saves me uh, quite a bit of money and my dog really enjoys them a lot. So if you try it, please let me know and let me know how your animals love them. All right. Well, I will see y'all later. Thanks for joining in with Hawthorne Homemaker this week. Mm -hmm.